You've been touring, I believe, almost non-stop since the release of The Hunter. It pretty much, well, we just had a long break, so. How long was it? A few months. A few months, okay. And what do you do during the few months off? I moved into a new house. I can't tell you where it is, but uh, that takes a lot of doing, moving, you know, packing things. So we've been doing that and working on the new album. You've been working on a new album. Yeah. And is there anything to say about the new stuff? It's brand new. It's brand new. Because I believe for the Hunter, you wrote the biggest part was written on the road. Yeah. This one is written at home, or? Yeah, mostly. Um, we'll see. Because uh, I think we'll probably record in September, maybe. I'm guessing. But nothing is uh, set in stone at the moment. But we're pretty close, I think, like as far as our demos are concerned, we're, we're getting there. So you already demoed the songs? Yeah. And the writing process, you, because all you guys write for the, for the albums? Yeah. You write together, or? Yeah, it I mean, it, it happens a bunch of different ways, you know. Every way that it could possibly happen, it happens that way. So, you know, one person writes something complete at home, or one person has some riffs at home, and they bring them in, and they have these riffs. And then someone else puts some other riffs in it, and then we all jam it together. And, you know, so uh, it doesn't really become a mastodon song unless everyone has touched it in some way. But and you also all do vocals. So is it is yeah. it possible that one writes a vocal part for someone else? Yeah, yeah, all the time. So you write something, and then you say you sing. Yeah, basically. And then they say fuck you. Maybe they, they could say that. That would be rude. I got a fan question for you. What was your rain in blood? Which album blew your mind and turned you into a metalhead or a rock lover? I have no idea. Um, this is pretty early on. Luckily for me, my parents were rockers, so I got exposed to it at an early age. But the first record I bought with my own money was um, was Peace of Mind by Iron Maiden. So that was the one that I think oh, yeah. changed a lot of things for me. What, what do your parents listen to? Everything, but uh, you know, back then they listened to what was popular pretty much which, in the rock world. I guess there was a lot of Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, uh, you know, some Iron Maiden, some uh, early Genesis, like Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. That was going a lot at the house. Your parents are way more cool than mine. Uh, last question Do you have a favorite metal pose? <coughs> yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot for your time. No problem. Have fun in Holland.